Hey guys, welcome back to Adam Does Tech Stuff. Today we're going to be looking at getting dynamic DNS working between OpenSense and Cloudflare. So let's jump in. First thing you need to do is log into your Cloudflare dashboard. You're going to select your website, go to DNS. We're going to add an A record, use at for the root, put in an IP address, at this point, it doesn't really matter what you pick. It's going to be updated dynamically. Uncheck proxy status, so it's a DNS-only record for now. And hit Save. OK, we've got our record. Now, let's go create our token. Go back to your dashboard. I'm going to go to My Profile. API tokens. We're going to create a new token. Under Edit Zone DNS, use template. For zone resources, select your site. Go ahead and give this token a name. Uh, I'm going to call mine Adam Does Tech Stuff. Edit Zone DNS. Continue to your summary. Make sure it has DNS edit permissions. Click Create Token. Now copy your token and keep it somewhere safe. You're going to need it for the next part of this. Now you need to log in to OpenSense. And first thing we need to do is install DD Client. Go to System, Firmware. Plugins, find Dynamic DNS Client in the list and click Install. When that's complete, press F5 to refresh your menu. Go to Services, Dynamic DNS, Settings. We're going to add a new record. Make sure it's enabled. Give it a description. For service, select Cloudflare. The username is Token. Regardless what your username actually is, since we're using an API token, the username needs to be token. For the password, paste in the token that you retrieve from Cloudflare. For your zone, you're going to enter your site name, host name. This is, needs to match the A record that you created. If you followed my example and just used an at sign, it'll be your domain. Check IP method, you want to select interface. And for the interface to monitor, choose WAN. Hit save and apply. Now at this point, we can look at our log file and we should see a success record. We can also go back to Cloudflare, and go back to our website, choose DNS, and you should now see your A record updated with your correct IP address. So that's it. Everything should be working. If this video has helped you, please like and subscribe.